extortion. <laughs> they might have to strip but, on the side to make a living. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I, I tell I tell my students quite often. I say, you know, in this industry, this is really a, a people business. It's really mm. something that you have to make of yourself. You can't expect to just waltz into a studio and expect to get a job. That's not the thing that's going to happen. You know, I, I, in my, in my experience, I did like five different internships. None of them hired me. And it was because, you know what, they weren't in a position to do so. So mm -hmm. it's like, as I most studios are way. like the, the whole commercial studio industry doesn't exist like it used exactly. to say 30 yeah. years ago. It's like everybody's working at home these days. And right. here's the thing. I'll, I'll talk. To, I get I get kids with you know diplomas coming in, you know, say, hey, hire me, hire me, hire me. And the first thing you know what the first thing I ask them is, hmm. OK, great. What are your video skills like? Yeah. And I get the deer in the headlights look because of that. And that's, I'm screaming at, at audio schools these days. Oh my Teach your kids how to fucking edit video because we need that more than, you know, how to play some microphone. Well, because I, the industry's changed. I am totally uh, on board with that. I actually teach my students DaVinci Resolve because I tell them, I say, you can't just be an audio guy. You got to mm -hmm. be a multimedia person, you yep, know, and absolutely. you got to learn how to edit. Because I do a lot of post production with my school, so I said, "Okay, you know, this is a huge part of things. And if you really want to start making like a living, part of that is making content, and it's not just going to be audio." So, well, so we say um, the same thing in our in our business. So, can you know me as a guitar player, as, as a solo musician, I don't make a living off Spotify and iTunes and all those things. I don't even make a living off just YouTube, as you know, Glenn. You're up there in mm. subscribers, and I, you know, YouTube pays you. Sure, that's great, but just that alone is probably not not a livable wage i wouldn't imagine so you've got to learn how to market you've got to learn mm -hmm. how to do these other things you can still do what mm -hmm. you love but it's like six or seven streams of income that you build not just the one right the one golden prize exactly and um yeah that that's the thing i mean like um I didn't know you could make a living doing this shit that's for sure i mean yeah. I, I started making a couple of videos i had fun with it and then um 2014 is when i decided to you know really get serious about it and try you know i i was actually working on a film and uh, i got fired uh by the oh. director because i hate working with morons and um this was <laughs> just great. it was a complete disaster